Hey man, what's popping, y'all? So apparently my favorite restaurant, well, one of my favorite restaurants, I think top two are probably Chick-fil-A and Chipotle, right? Chick-fil-A has dropped a new chicken sandwich. Uh, it's the new pepper pepper poblano or something like that. So we about to pull up on them and try that and see if that shit going crazy. Because one thing I love, it's a nice, good chicken sandwich. And I feel like they finna execute this on a high level. So let's pull up on them. And they dropped a new milkshake, so we on that too. I also want to see if they got some good employee hacks. So we finna, we finna go up here to Chick-fil-A and see what they got going on, man. Come ride with me. Hello, how you doing? Hey, can I get a name, please? Uh, Derek. Derek? Yeah. Ma'am, can I get started, please? Can I try this new honey pepper pimento sandwich? Uh, can I do the meal? Large fry. Um, can I get it with the spicy patty instead of the regular patty? Uh, let's do a large lemonade. And then a medium mac and cheese. And then I got a question. Do you got any um, good uh, Chick-fil-A employee hacks? What do you mean? Like in the menu, like stuff that y'all will probably make inside that probably most employees won't, no most customers won't know about or be able to do? I don't, I don't, I don't. No? Okay. I'm gonna be honest. Old girl didn't pass the vibe check. She wasn't really feeling it. Uh, I won't even. She seemed like she was having a bad day. I even asked her how she doing. She ain't say shit back. She just went straight to name for the order. Come on now. If somebody asks you how you doing, even if you're not having a good day, you're supposed to just go along with it. That's just common courtesy. That shit. Maybe we gonna have to try that another day. Well, if you work at Chick Fil A, let me know in the comments if y'all got some new. Or not new, but like some good Chick-fil-A employee hacks, man. I'm interested. So let's jump into this and let's see what we got going on. First off, we already know this spot. Got some of the best french fries in the game. Uh, nice little crunchy, crispy waffle fries. They seem to always be hot, salted to perfection. I don't know what Chick-fil-A doing now, but somehow, some way, your food is always hot. It's the only fast food restaurant I've ever been to where the food is consistently hot all the time and they don't miss on that. It's very crazy. And then we already know that they got some of the best barbecue sauce in the game. The barbecue sauce is always on point. They haven't changed it in years. And this shit It even got a little bit of a smoky flavor to it. It's so good, bro. This might be the best barbecue sauce. No cap. I don't understand people who hate Chick-fil-A fries. I feel like when you talk about good quality potatoes and good quality fries, Chick-fil-A is up there. And they always hot. Man, stop playing with them. Another thing before we get into that chicken sandwich that I just absolutely love at Chick-fil-A. Somehow, some way, Chick-fil-A manages to make a very good mac and cheese. I don't know what they doing, but this shit damn near tastes like some, like knockoff version of mama's mac and cheese. Like it tastes, like it tastes like it's actually good. Like it's good mac and cheese, bro. I don't know what they're putting in there, but it's very homey. It's a very homey taste mac and cheese. It's not like your typical KFC or Popeyes where you get it, it's all watery, it ain't got much flavor. Chick-fil-A mac and cheese, as you can hear, that shit creamy, it's flavorful, it's cheesy. It, it got a little bit of everything going on for you, man. And then, and somehow, some way, they wow you. I was so surprised when I first tried this. Good fast food mac and cheese really don't exist. But Chick-fil-A, they changed your mind on that for sure. Because they took their time 
and they made it with love, bro. And let me show y'all the secret ingredient that take it to another level. This is a Texas Peak hot sauce. Texas Pete hot sauce. There we go. When you drizzle that on now, drizzle that on now, stir it up a little bit, and now you gotta hit that. Oh yeah. This mac and cheese easily the best fast food mac and cheese out there. I don't know one restaurant that could top it. I've been to multiple chicken restaurants. Like Fryder Coop, Dave's Hot Chicken, all those places. No pla no restaurant is ever topping this. Some chickens, I've had their mac and cheese. Man, stop it. Chick-fil-A mac and cheese is untouchable when it comes to fast food. All right, now, let's dive into the chicken sandwich, man. It's the spicy honey pepper poblano chicken sandwich. Let me give y'all a look. Let me take it out. Now, look at that. That shit looking crazy. Look at that thick crust. That nice little poblano sauce or poblano cheese. It's like melted all over it. And then they got a, they got some nice little sauce on it. And then they got some jalapenos on the bottom, man. Let's dive into it and let's see if this thing go crazy. Very, a very wet sandwich, by the way, if you do get it. Let me get another bite. Mmm. I will say it's a very good chicken sandwich, right? Not really getting much of the honey. I think the honey has been kind of lost in the shuffle. Um, the cheese is good. Whatever sauce this is, it's solid. But I do love the addition of the jalapenos at the bottom. Gives it a nice little crunch, a little extra crunch. But uh, overall, it's cool. But I ordered this over the Spicy Deluxe. Mmm. They damn near on the same level. Actually, that bite, that bite was very good. Those jalapenos are just doing something for me. Yeah, like I am really enjoying the addition of the jalapenos to the sandwich. I think it just gives it another like element of flavor, crunch, and a little bit more heat, obviously. Like, I'm loving this chicken sandwich, actually. I've changed my mind. Midway through it, I changed my mind. I actually like this chicken sandwich. Somehow those jalapenos are winning me over. Cause I do love the chicken itself. The chicken is the chicken never misses. Yeah. Solid eight. This chicken this chicken's ever gonna get a solid eight for sure. I just wish I had a little bit more of that honey element. The honey element is kind of gone. Maybe that's because I got the spicy chicken sandwich. But I don't know. The honey the honey element is not non-existent. Mm. But the damn show is good, though. Because I was coming into, into this expecting like a hot, sweet, and savory type of thing. Not really getting that. It's more of a good savory and uh, a little bit of heat. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. Now, if you do have a low spice tolerance, I wouldn't recommend getting the spicy one because there is jalapenos at the bottom. So you're going to get the jalapenos and you're going to get that spicy bread in from the normal spicy chicken sandwich. It might be a little much for you.
Chicken salad was definitely worth getting though. I do love the fact that Chick Fil A is starting to add new menu items. I feel like when they do, it's very far and in between. Like they don't really get creative. This is probably the most creative thing that they've done, and I like it. I need them to keep doing this, man. Keep slapping us across the head with new items, man, because I really do love this. And them jalapenos. They are hidden, bro. Now, let's try let's try this milkshake. I honestly don't even I didn't know what this milkshake was. I just said, hey, don't you have a new milkshake? She said, yeah, and then she gave it to me. I don't know what this is, so let's just try it. Damn, she thick. Hold on. Damn. What is this? Let's look at Oh, it's a caramel crumble cookie. Okay. So, definitely. I know I like my milkshakes thick and creamy. She a little too thick and creamy. Well, not. She a little too thick. I can barely even get it through the straw. I'm not even complaining because obviously it's gonna melt down a little bit, but I do think that this is a good milkshake. The little bit of it that I am tasting, you definitely getting that caramel cookie action with a little bit of that vanilla ice cream. And I think this is solid. This milkshake will honestly get like an eight out of 10. Man, maybe I need to just suck out some of those cookies. Let's see if it comes through now. No. She said no. Wish I had a spoon or something. Because this would go crazy right now. Especially having it after having all that heat. Oh yeah. Solid 8 out of 10 on the milkshake man. Go 